Yeshua went about in all the Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the announcement of the kingdom and healing all manner of disease and all manner of sickness among the people. And the report of him went forth into all Aram, and they brought to him all that were sick, held with diverse diseases and torments, possessed with demons and epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes from the Galilee and Decapolis and Hierosolimon and Judea and from beyond the Jordan. Matthai chapter 5. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the mountain. And when he had sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of the skies. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after the righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in the heart, for they shall see the God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that have been persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the skies. Blessed are ye being when they would reproach you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in the skies. For so persecuted they the prophets that were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its flavor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and trampled under the men. Ye are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither are they lighting a lamp and putting it under a bushel, but on the stand. And it shineth to all that are in the house. Likewise let your light shine before the men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in the skies. Think not that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fill up. For amen, I am saying to you, till the sky and the earth pass away, one yota or one seraph shall certainly not pass away from the law till all things should become. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commands and shall teach men so, shall be called least by the kingdom of the skies. But whosoever shall do and teach them, he shall be called great by the kingdom of the skies. For I am saying to you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Parishaya, ye shall certainly not enter into the kingdom of the skies.
Ye heard that it was said to them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be liable to the judgment. But I, I am saying to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be liable to the council, and whosoever shall say, O oh, fool, shall be liable into the Gehenna hell of the fire. If therefore thou art offering thy gift at the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thy adversary quickly. While thou art with him in the way, lest perhaps the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Amen, I am saying to thee, thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou have paid the last Quadrance. Ye heard that it was said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I, I am saying to you, that every one viewing a woman for to desire her, hath committed adultery with her already with his heart. And if thy right eye causeth thee to stumble, Pluck it out, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body be cast into Gehenna hell. And if thy right hand causeth thee to stumble, cut it off, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body go into Gehenna, hell. And it was said, Whosoever shall put away his woman, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I, I am saying to you that every one putting away his woman, besides the matter of sexual sin, provoketh her to adultery. And whosoever shall marry a woman having been put away is committing ongoing adultery. Again ye heard that it was said to them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself but shalt perform to Lord Yahweh thy oaths. But I, I am saying to you, swear not at all, neither by the sky, for it is being the throne of the God, nor by the earth, for it is being the footstool of his feet, nor by Hierosolima, for it is being the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, for thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your speech be, yea, yea, nay, nay, and whatsoever is more than these is of the evil one. Ye heard that it was said, Eye for eye, and tooth for tooth. But I, I am saying to you, Resist not him that is evil, But whosoever smiteth thee on thy right cheek, Turn to him the other also. And if any man would go to law with thee, And take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also, 
And whosoever shall compel thee to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye heard that it was said, Thou shalt mindfully love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I, I am saying to you, mindfully love your enemies, and pray for them that persecute you, that ye may be sons of your Father, the one in skies. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them that love you, what reward are ye having? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brothers only, what superior thing are ye doing? Do not even the nations the same? Ye therefore, ye shall be perfect, as your skyly father is perfect.